Deidre Irons. I'm a pianist and Chamber of Music New Zealand has invited Michael Endress. He's the other pianist and we're doing a program for two pianos and percussion with Lenny Sikowski and Thomas Goldberg. Oh, it's terrific. I mean, I've just finished playing a trio concert and now I'm focusing completely on, on this. And this is a very demanding program. Lenny and Thomas and I got together just to make sure we were on the same page and we were very much on the same page. And I found out what incredible musicians and, and um, technicians they are. They just are very, um, you know, you sort of think in terms of hitting things in, in percussion, but boy, can you ever hit things in multiple different ways. It's just amazing. There's something about this piece that um, I think it's the one they use when they talk about the Mozart effect. It's the one which is meant to have the greatest effect on children when they hear it. And uh, there's something about it that just seems to put all of your molecules in order. <laughs> I just feel, I feel joyful and peaceful whenever, whenever I play that piece. And it's been ever since, ever since I first played it in my 20s, which is a very long time ago. And it, it, it's just really, there's something very special about it. I first played this piece in uh, when I was at Curtis, so in my in my early twenties, and we had, as you do when you're at school, we had an entire term or whatever to to rehearse it. After that, um, I sort of got an insight into Bartok through Miha Bogachnik, who Chamber Music New Zealand brought over in 1984. And, and put us together. And I, I, he is from Slovenia, and he has that Eastern European temperament. And I remember the first time he, he arrived on my doorstep and, and sort of like a <laughs> clap of thunder. <laughs> and and we, we started to play, we played maybe one piece, and um, Micha stopped and looked at me and he said, do you want to work? <laughs> I said yes. And I think that really was when my sort of musical education began, you know, well past Curtis and all of my upbringing in Winnipeg. He just somehow or other, he taught me this Eastern European feeling that music like the Bartok Sonata for Two Pianos and Percussion has. The Bartok has very, some very gnarly bits, I must say. <laughs> and some of Bartok's tempo markings are off the planet. He wants you to play so fast. I think it sort of illustrates how much action there is in the percussion when uh, I tell you that I played it in China in the 80s and when I, when, when we went to the first rehearsal, we found that there were five percussionists and a conductor. <laughs> now that might have been overkill, but it's an indication of how much there is to do. And it's, it's, like, a, it's like a ballet back there. They're, they're holding things for each other and rushing around, and I don't know if they hold things, sticks in their teeth in order to, but it's, it's an absolutely amazing feat. So I'm hoping and I'm pretty confident that people will come away saying, I didn't realize how much I liked Bartok. It's very, it's very accessible. Wonderful stuff. A friend of Ludoslavsky's apparently asked him if he would add percussion parts to this very, very jolly and accessible Paganini variations that he, that he wrote. And he started doing it and then sadly died before he was finished doing it. So someone finished it 
for him. And it, it, it just enhances the piano part. I was quite concerned that it would override the piano part, which is already extremely flamboyant, but it just adds little touches of color. It's quite beautiful. I'm really looking forward to playing Ludoslavsky again because it's fun. It's just fun. There are places in it that, that I think, surely I can rewrite that so that, <laughs> so, so that I don't have to jump three octaves this fast. Cha-chonk! Cha-chonk! With chords. <laughs> it's very challenging. But at the same time, it's funny and, it, and it's, um, oh, it's just fun to play. Being able to play something more than once in this country is the, is the greatest gift of all. It's just fantastic. You spend so much time alone at the piano and, and um, doing things and, and discovering things in the music that are beautiful, but they only matter when you communicate them to someone else. And in that, in that sort of performance, at that time, there's just a special enhancing sort of aura that comes around around the music and the players and the audience in ideal circumstances.